Libra, welcome to your reading for the first half of March 2018. That would be March 1st through the 15th. Yeah, let's get to it. <clears throat> Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Libras, sun, moon, and rising signs. What's going on for Libra? First half of March 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Libra, 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 what do we got for you? Libra. Libra, Libra. Libra, okay, one last shuffle for Libra. 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 All right. Okay, Libra. What's going on? We've got the three of wands. So y'all are embarking on a journey. Um, Seems that there's been some sort of choice that's been made and either you're waiting for your ships to come in or you are planning, you're in a, you're planning, you're, you're, you're developing your plan of action with that, with whatever this choice is. Okay. Coupled with the 10 of swords. And the knight of wands. and followed by the Eight of Cups. All right, Libra. So yes, you're definitely, you're definitely moving on. You're moving on from something. You're moving on from something. Um, there was a Ten of Swords. The, the, the Ten of Swords energy is here because like you've reached the end of some, some sort of uh, mental situation. Would that be belief systems? Um, about yourself or about others, um, just a negative situation, you know, someone, maybe someone was manipulating you mentally or whatnot. I'm getting that the Knight of Wands here is speaking to, um, for the most part, it's speaking to the situation at hand, whether that be another person, um, another organization, like say a job, uh, a social group, something like that. But something that was like wishy-washy, in and out, in and out, in and out. Couldn't make a decision. Didn't uh, lost interest real quickly. I feel like maybe some of you have had a habit of involving yourselves in some other some way, whether that be friendships or romantic relationships, with someone that embodied the Knight of Wands energy. And you finally come to a point where it's like you've done, you're done with that. It's not necessarily about the specifics person. It's more about the um, the energy itself, and you're just done with it, with the ten of swords. It's not fulfilling for you, so you're walking away from it. Okay, so there, you've made your decision. Now with the three of wands, you're trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, I made my decision. Where do I go from here? Okay, let's get into your story, yeah. First, we have the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Sorry, I, there's, a, there's a song playing that I really love. <laughs> it's one of my neighbors, and it's like, oh, wow, I love that song. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, guys. We have the Knight of Cups with, the sh with Strength. Hmm. Okay, well, the tables have turned here a little bit. Because now I'm seeing maybe you were the one that was embodying the Knight of Wands, which is weird because as a Libra, I mean, I feel like, you know, you guys are all about justice anyway. I mean, you're, so I feel like you're not, you're pretty quick to make a decision. So for a Libra to, uh, uh, to adopt a Knight of Wands energy in the sense where they're kind of like wishy-washy, that's, maybe I've got it all wrong. It's possible. But 
what the tables have turned here a little bit because now I'm seeing I'm seeing you, Libra, as the one that's now drawing on the strength to make a love offer, to sort of make some sort of offering to somebody. Or on the other hand, maybe like like okay, so this well, okay, this would go for either you or for the other person, but like a ten of the ten of swords has come. Or they're in a they're in they're they, the end of something has come. The end of a mental situation has come. Um, and, and I believe that to be the, the wishy-washy aspect of the Knight of Wands. The person has made a decision as to what direction they want to go in. And they're drawing on the strength. And they're planning their actions to make an offer. Whether that's you or that's somebody else, Libra. Especially after, I want to say, a lifetime or a very long cycle of wishy-washiness, this is really nice. Very, very nice to see. And it's guided by the universe because of the major arcana and strength here. So this is not just like um, a three-dimensional, you know, egoic type thing. No, this is on a, this is on a spiritual level, on a higher level at least. So that's even more welcome. Okay, next. The sun. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign here, Leo. Uh, uh, Libra, but I mean, I say Leo because the sun is, the, is, can be, is a Leo card, right? But the sun is shining on the situation, nine of pentacles. So, um, here's the nine of pentacles, nine, N-I-N-E, not the night, the nine. Um, so independent status, independence. Either you're really independent, Libra, or this other person, or I'm picking up, I'm picking up it's you. You're a very independent person. And if you were the one that was embodying this knight of wands energy in like being kind of wishy-washy, not really wanting to stay in one place for too long. Um, yeah, the nine of pentacles could be speaking to that. I mean, like you're your own, and, and it's not, and I, it may not be such a negative thing where you're like, I want like, quote, I've been saying wishy-washy, but you're just like, eh, I just, I just don't want to stay in one place too. I don't really have to stay here any longer. Like what, what else is out there? I mean, you're that independent, you're that stable where you're like, all right, cool. This was fun. What's next? You know what I mean? It's, it could be that kind of thing. Um, but the sun is shining on you. It's shining on your situation. It's shining on this choice maybe to, to, to settle down, right? Because pentacles is a stable aspect okay so maybe you are choosing to settle down now yes you're still retaining your independence but you're choosing to settle down you might be choosing to settle down with a leo but either way the sun is shining on that choice i'd say like the sun came out and you were like oh okay yeah maybe i am ready for this Hmm. Moving forward, we have the Queen of Cups. That has, that's so funny. That came up for Aquarius. Gemini had a Queen of Cups fly out, fly out, and now you have it here in your spread with the Six of Pentacles. Is there someone you're interested in, Libra? Um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Or someone that embodies Queen of Cups energy, loving, caring, emotional? but balanced in her emotions, very intuitive, compassionate, nurturing. Do you want to have an even reciprocal relationship with them? Do you want to maybe give back to them what they've been, have been or have been trying to give to you? Are you embodying the Queen of Cups energy in your uh, is your desire to settle down being influenced by um, you connecting with wanting to have a family, wanting to uh, nurture and love someone? Is your intuition speaking to you and saying, this is what you want, and that's why you're choosing to settle down? Good questions to answer for yourself, I'd say. I'd say. Moving forward, the Page of Cups. Wow. 
We've got the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Page of Cups with the Emperor. Hmm. Somebody is taking control of their lives. And I would say, especially in light of the Knight of Wands energy, yeah, someone's really taking control of their lives and deciding what they want and are looking to make an offer of it. But in this case, I feel like um, they're, taking their, they're taking control of their lives and they're embarking on a new emotional journey with the Page of Cups. Like they're deciding to settle down and really start to get a grasp on their emotional reality and what it is they truly want from um, the emotional realm. And they're using the energy of the emperor, stability, control, to really ground that, whether that's you, Libra, or someone else you're interested in. But I do believe it is this person that is that has chosen to settle down and is looking to make an offer, if not has already made an offer. Yep. All right, moving on with your story. We have the three of pentacles. So entrepreneurship or also um, working with others to build something and the devil. I'm getting a little bit of a, when it comes to working with others, I'm getting a little bit of um, negative input from someone. I feel like someone kind of led you astray, Libra. And I don't necessarily want to say deceived you. I'm just saying, because it's, because I'm kind of feeling like they're coming from a place where they, it's not like they were really lying. It's just... They weren't completely clear on a situation themselves so it's like they were just injecting all kinds of negativity into it and it and it led you off path it led you astray and maybe that what that's what influenced this ten of swords situation it's like i mean if there were like if say like because i did mention um like a, maybe a friendship a social group or something like that did i mention that i feel like i did but that's coming up here um Maybe you were part of a situation, a social group where, you know, they were just not the best. They were flakes even. And, you know, they they just they were wrapped up in egoic fear type fear based energy. And, you know, they were somewhat they were people that you at least thought you vibed with and, and were people that you, you know, went to advice or, 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 or help with some things. But now you're realizing with the Ten of Swords that. They were not beneficial. Those were not good teammates is what I'm getting from there. So you're kind of like, eh, done. All right, well, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Next in your story, we have the lovers. Aww. So Gemini, the lovers is the Gemini card. It also talks to a relationship. If they're, if they're, If you've come across someone that and you're now deciding to settle down, it could very well be because you feel a very deep soulmate connection with this person. Could also be a twin flame situation. If you have been the knight of wands for so for X amount of time, but now you've come across someone and you're like, holy shit, I just met my twin flame. Or if you're not even, maybe you're not aware of that, but you just feel a, a, what a, aware, you're not aware of, um, the twin flame dynamic, but you just, you still feel this extremely strong connection with someone. I could absolutely be a reason to settle down coupled with the wheel of fortune. So yeah, this really, actually, this really could be a twin flame situation that some of you Libras are finding yourselves in, or it's just a soulmate because destiny is involved here. Fate with the wheel of fortune. Like all of this was kind of destined to happen somehow. Yeah, I'm being guided to instruct you guys to take notice of how you truly feel when you're around somebody. Okay. That's all I'm getting. Just just really, really analyze how you feel when you're around someone. What do they make you feel? Even in your thoughts, when you're just thinking about them, how do they make you feel? And what do you want to do about that? Moving forward. 
King of Pentacles. Uh, maybe there's an Earth sign around you, Taurus, Capricorn, or uh, Virgo. And a Nine of Cups. Either there's an Earth sign around you who is very financially secure, very financial, uh, materially stable, um, or it's somebody that embodies this sense of stability. But for you, this is wish fulfillment. And in some cases, if this is, if you're trying to settle down, maybe you've come across someone that has like given you such a sense of stability that you're like, oh my God, I didn't even know I wanted that. <laughs> and so you've reached a 10 of swords situation and now you're ready to settle down. You also could be embodying this king of pentacles in wanting to settle down. Maybe you're the one that's saying, oh, wow, I didn't even know I wanted this. I've been running over. I've been running away from this for so long. Wrapped up in all this devil energy of, with all these friends of mine or so-called friends, I guess. But man, I really want to settle down. Okay. Three of wands. How do I do that? Excellent. Finally, in your story, Libra, we have King of Wands. Oof. Oof. There's a lot of fire energy around here. With mm, the Five of Wands. Okay, so, yes, uh, I believe, Libra, for the most part, I believe you are embodying this King of Wands energy because you are, you've come to this realization and you're at the Ten of Swords situation, so you're done with that cycle. You're finishing out a cycle with the Wheel of Fortune, and you're passionate about it. But you're still a little conflicted. And I believe that conflict, the, the, the conflicted energy that's coming up here in the Five of Wands is related to the, the, the decision you're having to make and how to move forward with the Three of Wands. There could be, there could be some outside influences that are still trying to like influence you in ways that you don't want to go. And <clears throat> so you're having to deal with the difference of opinion there. But I'm really feeling like this is mostly you trying to decide how to move forward with this with this new choice you've made. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's it. Libra, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all. And I will see you guys next time, mid-March for the second half of your March reading, yes? Take care, everyone. I love you. Bye.